With elections looming and a large number of candidates to choose from, we hope to better acquaint you with your choices. Hot on the heels of Robert Wansink is our second Dunedin electoral candidate for this evening. Standing for Alliance in Dunedin North, it's Victor Billow. Good evening, Victor. Hi. What is the main thrust of Alliance? Well, basically, uh, the Alliance is a party about putting people first. That's what we stand for. And that's reflected in our policies around things such as free education, public health care, secure jobs and affordable housing. I mean, we're really there to improve the, the lot of ordinary New Zealanders. What do you think is the main issue for the people of the Dunedin North electorate? Well, I think uh, the big issue for everyone at the moment is actually the global uh, recession. That's going to hit Dunedin hard. It's going to hit New Zealand hard. Um, and that means we're going to have to change the way we do things. For example, it means things like stadiums won't be affordable. And it'll mean that uh, we have to do things uh, differently in terms of how we run our economy. Now, if you're elected, how do you think you're best going to serve the people of Dunedin North? Well, I think uh, my job would be to tr give a voice to people who perhaps uh, don't have a voice at the moment in the political system. Um, it all seems to be about kind of the, the, the people in Wellington, the people at the top, um, and what their interests are. And the Alliance is really party of the people, so that's my goal. Now, it's your second time standing for this electorate. What are you doing differently this time around? Well, I've been a lot involved in a lot more uh, national uh, stuff in this campaign, so I've actually been up north a bit uh, doing a little bit of fundraising. Um, we've also been um, using the internet to promote our, our policies a lot more. That's becoming a much bigger part of it, and it's also uh, good for a party that doesn't have a lot of uh, corporate backers like the Alliance. We have a low budget, and uh, we have to use uh, all the methods we can to get the message out there. What sort of feedback have you been receiving? Well, the feedback's been good. Um, I have to say that I'm a little worried there seems to be a bit of a mood of complacency out there, perhaps. Or People are saying uh, a lot about time for a change. I don't quite understand that. I think if there's going to be a change, um, changes can be bad as well as good. Mm. I think a change to a national government in a recession uh, will see us back in the 1990s, and that won't be good for working people. So one then assumes that the Alliance Party supports Labor? Uh, we'd offer them our, our support um, mm. if uh, elected, but um, we wouldn't um, enter into some kind of arrangement where we couldn't be an independent voice, uh, that we, we value our independence. So what part of the Alliance policy speaks to you the loudest? I suppose the biggest part of it is the idea that um, we have to move forward as a society together rather than um, just allowing some people to move forward and, and excluding other people. So I couldn't say one particular uh, thing, but I'd say our focus on social justice would be a big thing for me. What's the next big step in the campaign for you? Well, at this stage, it's uh, just the, all the meetings around town and um, just uh, continuing to promote the message out there whichever way I can. So it's a, a busy period for any candidate at this time. Finally, Victor, the tough question. Why should someone vote for you? Well, I think that um, I could uh, be a candidate uh, or a representative with a bit of a difference. I think I'd stir things up if I got elected uh, rather than just be a person who just uh, stands for the status quo and just going along as normal. And um, I think uh, National and Labour would see some real competition then. Alliance candidate for Dunedin North, Victor Billow, thanks very much for your time. Thank you. And now